Hey guys, good morning. Welcome back to another vlog. Um, so today we are here in Diglipur. We got in uh, late last night. We finally checked into a nearby hotel at around uh, 7 p.m. and then we just went out for dinner nearby. Uh, right now at the town circle, uh, it's called the Chauk, and we are waiting here now to get onto one of the local buses uh, so that we can take you to a new place. Uh, the room we checked in is a very uh, ordinary one, nothing great. Uh, it's definitely cleaner than a lot of the uh, other hotels we saw in the neighborhood. Uh, we're paying about 1000 rupees a night, which means it's definitely way over uh, you know, the general budget here that we have had. Um, the room uh, is non-AC and uh, we're here for two nights. Looking for the ticket office. Now we are in uh, Aerial Bay. Now we are in Aerial Bay. But we can't see the jetty. The bus dropped us off, I think, at the main uh, town center. Yeah. And, and now we are. Our way to the jetty now. And struggling. Hi guys. So we are here at the ticketing counter of the Ross and Smith Island. So as there are lesser number of tourists here, we have to sit, take a single boat. So they told they will charge us uh, 5,500 rupees for both of us in a single boat. Well, that was way too expensive. So they told we can also share it with another three people. So, so totally for five people, it will come to 5,500 now. So apparently there's another one where a bigger boat available where you can share it with up to 10 people and that will cost 8,000 rupees. So well, we don't have so many people visiting the island today. So we're going with the 5,500 rupee one and shared between five people. So we're gonna be paying 2,200 for both of us to go to Ross and Smith Island and come back. So let's see if it's really worth it. It's amazing! Hi guys! We have we finally made it to Ross and Smith Island. What makes this place so special is that both of these islands are connected by a sandbank. And this sandbank only opens up when there is low tide. So yes, and also all around you can see the color of the water is so beautiful. There are so many shades of blue visible. And on that side, there are so many mountains too and all these mountains are full of greenery. It looks so beautiful. I mean, beautiful. So that behind us is Ross Island on this side. And what you see here is Smith Island. It's probably the biggest reason why tourists come here to the Gliport, which is the northernmost tip of Andaman. It's, uh, the island is called North Andaman. It's really massive, it's huge. There's a lot of thick forests everywhere and very high number of untouched beaches, very virgin beaches over here. 
this is one such beach but uh, it does get a few tourists every uh, uh, tourist season which is basically the second half of uh, the year that aligns with winter right now because we are here during the off season or the monsoon there's only like two or three other groups of tourists so we have this entire place to ourselves the weather is great today uh, it's extremely sunny there's a bit of cloud uh, drama here and there but the water is turning so blue it's just perfect it looks beautiful the best beach i have seen so far in andaman hands down and on that side you can basically see uh, mainland parts of north andaman and the huge mountains that are there so it's extremely picturesque on one side and on this side as you can see there's absolutely nothing so this i think if you keep going that way you should be reaching uh, southeast asia but There's absolutely nothing in sight for miles and miles. And right on this point we can enjoy two beaches because this is a sand bank which connects Ross and Smith Island. So basically there is a, a wildlife zone on uh, Ross Island uh, for which you need another permit if you want to enter inside. On Smith Island the general ticket includes the visit to the the island itself so you can basically see uh there's there's a bunch of cabanas there's recliners to chill on there's also i think maybe a restaurant there uh but we'll we'll basically go check it out now but most of the people play in the water on this side of uh, the island where the water is more calm uh, and on the other side uh, that's where the boats uh, you know stop for us to disembark and the water is more choppy and rough so you can't really play there but that's the one which is more picturesque to see yeah, because, because of the yeah because of the mountains behind it's absolutely beautiful and also the boatman just told us that in an hour or one and a half hours there's going to be high tide so we are expecting the sandbank to be completely covered with water i want to see how that looks yeah let's go in Somebody has a lot of energy this morning. Yes, 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 So on this side of the island they also have a lot of coconut trees a bunch of sit out places and there's also a bunch of changing rooms right there with showering facilities and as you go further that side i think i see something like a little bridge and then it disappears into the forest what's up shish tired from enjoying way too much really Yes, and I think I would have burnt my skin today. We've been out in the sun for almost one, one and a half hours. I can already see it burning. And you can see all tiny, tiny little bug of faces crawling around here and there. It looks like as if the shells are moving, but they are living creatures. These are seashell creatures. Yeah. What are they called? They call little buggers. Hermit crabs. Okay, why hermit crabs? I don't know what they're called. Looks like we've just discovered a tree house thanks to that little girl on the swing.
Well, my hair clip hit now neat and it's bleeding on his forehead now. Yesterday we had got band-aids for me, but today we need it for Navneet. So this is the tree house. We learned that it was very recently built. It's in a very cool area. It's very nice to sit here just on the tree. And this is the view you get. Can't see the beach though, but it's all foresty and nice. And there's oh, Namit. Oh hi. Rawson Smith Island, is it worth it? Yes! It's totally worth the long rickety ride from Port Blair to here, taking the expensive boat ride to this island. It's totally go for it, guys. Yeah, and, and you should definitely come, whether it's high tide or low tide, because they both have their own versions of beauty. And regardless, they said that even at high tide, the water level will be so shallow on the sandbank that you can still walk, walk across the two islands. It might just not be perfect for a photo, but regardless, it's it's just it's a very unique thing. You don't get stuff like this on India, as far as we've learned. Seen, yeah. Yeah, and and this is this is as close to the whole Maldivian experience that you can get without having to break the bank. I mean, you have to break it a little bit, but. <laughs> Uh, you know, considering the rest of the expenses you'll incur, this is definitely worth doing it. And this is like the main attraction here in Diglipur. Uh, apart from this, there are a few other places. But even if you come here just for this, it, it's just so picturesque, you'll, you'll find it yeah. worth it. This is my favorite place in the entire Andaman. Yeah. Well, after snorkeling. back was extremely bumpy the waves were huge this time the water kept splashing on us and as you can see my pulling glasses are all wet <laughs> we have finally reached back now we, we are, are at the jetty, jetty. yeah it was an amazing experience but we're very hungry and extremely that's, tired too and that's because there's absolutely nothing to eat on the island there's no shacks there's no shops you can't buy snacks you basically have to buy it and take it along with you if you need yeah, yeah. and uh, we had taken one water bottle uh, but that's it there were others who had brought snacks along and there are dustbins you should be able to dispose your uh, trash and all safely but it's extremely neat there's yeah. no plastic it's just pristine and beautiful. Yeah, you guys so must come. That's the that's the way we've uh, filled our bellies for <laughs> this morning. But now <laughs> we're gonna go. Bellies filled with blue color. <laughs> and now we're gonna go look for some food. Uh, but considering it's been a pretty long one, I think we'll end the vlog right here, mm -hmm. and we'll see you in the next one. Please subscribe. Bye. Bye. Wound update number two. <laughs> it hurts so much. Well, it was all because of this individual. I told him. <laughs> Take two, break, action. Oh, 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 o